Christmas. string it's a big blue Spanish sky I lay on my back watch the clouds roll by I only wish that I could make you cry like I do Like I do Well, that 
is a job for the new year. A new string. A new string. A new client. A new year. A new president. Everyone likes to talk about Donald Trump, right? Because it's like, yeah. Cheap talk. Talk is cheap. He is a bit crazy. There's no doubt about it. He is a bit crazy. He does some crazy things. He's out of the box. He's out of the norm. Um, but when you consider that the world is crazy anyway, it's not that bad, you know. If he goes to China and he says, hey, I'm talking with the Chinese president, and you know what? We're going to get some good business. To, we're going to get some good deals. Like, well, that's quite unorthodox, but you know what? Uh, we're going to build a wall. We're going to build a wall. All right. Well, you know, the stuff that's going on in the world, uh, nothing that he can come out with is any worse than what's happening anyway, or any more bizarre, or unusual, or different to what, we're we we're used to but you know we always we're always evolving we're always becoming adapted to different situations life changes you know i was thinking like before we had mobile phones and the internet age we had other things to worry about and to concern ourselves about we weren't concerned with climate change and uh being too busy and uh, should i do this or should i do that we had other problems oh we've got problems so problems are nothing new. Um, however, if we're on a timeline and that t we understand that that timeline is finite, there's going to come a time when time will stop as we know it. When the sun blows up, for example. When the sun runs out of fuel and can no longer convert hydrogen into helium which is four billion years away but nevertheless it it is finite um we will run out of um solutions so we're not always going to have time to solve the problems but the way things are going with um uh, transgender issues and equality issues and the patriarchy that I hear a lot about on the internet um, in the UK and in America and following on from the Harvey Weinstein sex scandal that uh, your reporter your youtuber commented on commented on in the past uh roles the roles it's, it's, the roles that people are assigned in life are being questioned and for things are being forced a little you know we need more women maths teachers so well, I mean if women want to teach maths they can teach maths you know if women want to be scientists they can be scientists if men want to be PE teachers, then they can be PE teachers, you know. There's always somebody gunning for something that because somebody's not doing enough of it in their opinion, which is based on an idea that is the idea being the patriarchy. Kind of, uh, uh, debatable we can't hide, we can't hide from our nature um you know if there is a patriarchy which i'm sure there is there's a good reason for it you know however within that structure there's always dynamics of personality you know people aren't like dogs cats we're more complicated than that you can have 
a domineering mother. You can have a hen-pecked man. We don't live in a time when to call somebody a hen-pecked man is, is a terrible insult and hurt to their feelings. That's okay. It's still all right to call somebody hen-pecked. Um, under the thumb, you know, that kind of thing. I say jump, you say how high. Um, anyway, 2018 is going to be more of the same, basically. It's going to be more of the same irrational worrying and rational worriers worrying about the irrational people worrying about irrational stuff and this eternal conflict between those who haven't and want and those who have and think well you know what else do I want to say I want to say there's no pause button there's no pause option on my button of truth I suppose I could edit this right. um, today's been the first sunny day for months literally two months sun's out I thought I could, I could film I could do some filming and I have been working on that song I've practiced it because like Bob Dylan said know your song well before you start singing and it's very true it's very very true that uh, and um, string just broke as you saw so I've never had a nylon string snap I'm going through a bit of a guitar uh, mechanical crisis at the moment I've got a guitar in the lounge that I bought in 1984 and the neck has a problem the body has a problem I've got my other faithful guitar there that I bought last year the Hernandez and that it's not going too well it's lost a string I'm getting intonation problems the Spanish one we just saw that live we just saw that like eight minutes ago um, I've ordered off eBay a bone saddle and a bone bridge buffalo bone so that buffalo didn't die for nothing he gave meat he gave he gave his life or she could be a lady buffalo a buffalo or buffalo um, but he or she will live on in my guitar I bought two actually I bought them from China and I was just amazed. If you've got the patience to wait, uh, I think it was £1.25, including post and package. So for £1.25, I thought, jeez, I'm going to push the boat out. I'm going to get two. I bought two saddles and nuts. And when Mario Draghi talks about inflation and the need to pump up the economy, he might as well just say, let's bomb China because as long as you've got Chinese economy pumping out things like buffalo nuts and bridge pieces for guitars and ditto everything else you're never going to get inflation I mean personally I don't give a monkeys about inflation I don't particularly want inflation why do I want inflation what's good about inflation God Almighty. Let's have things just the way they are. Let's keep things the same for once. Let's not always be looking to improve things. Like YouTube is always looking to improve things. And often they make things worse. Like annotations. Annotations were great. Fantastic. Flexible. We loved them. We used them. We didn't abuse them. But then they stopped using them. They said because 60%, I think, of, of content is viewed on, on one of these at a bus stop, then, then we're not having annotations. We're going to give you end credit screens. And they're great. Yeah. And not only that, you can't go back and edit your old annotations either. Uh, 
you know, there's lots of things that YouTube could do that could make our lives easier. <clears throat> and there's lots of things that they shouldn't do. They should just just leave it. Just it's it's okay. You know, you don't have to make it better. The world's changing. Everything's changing. Change is good. Inflation is good. Spend. Consume. On one hand. And on the other hand, it's like, oh no. The planet. The planet. You know. I mean, the planet is no longer green. There are no longer green spaces. It's become... It's just an excuse to show you the uh this is for the cat actually i bought this for the cat and she doesn't like it jesus she doesn't like it oh it doesn't even smell good oh. can't blame her for not liking it really well tomorrow is the 26th it's boxing day I'm not sure why they call Boxing Day, Boxing Day. Um, nothing to do with boxing. Maybe in the old days, um, people used to have wrestling matches and the odd bit of boxing as well. Or maybe it's because um, with all the presents that you get, uh, they need to be boxed up, right? You can put them back in the boxes. Uh, so you take the boxes out on Christmas Day and then on Boxing Day, you put the boxes back. They're absolutely... Jeez, that's... Yeah, Lottie, you bloody eat that. Huh? I don't blame you for not eating that grass. It's completely understandable. It's completely understandable. If I'd known what it smelt like, I wouldn't have forced you to eat it. No. No. So, all right. This is your big moment to be a cat. So, anything to say? Anything to add to my Christmas speech? No, nothing at all. Come on. She's gone quiet now. <laughs> Go on then. Yeah, I know what's put her off. It's the smell of that in grass. Jesus, I got up my leg. I got these jeans were clean on in in early November. Anyway, um, I'm not sure if it's even recording because uh, I can't see anything. I'm going to say it is. Because although Steve Jobs is no longer with us, with Steve Wozniak, they managed to create something that was seamlessly integrated on a peer-to-peer -peer basis. And the Apple ethos and the MacBook Pro uh, lives on in testament to Mr. Jobs's determination and drive to warp reality. Unfortunately, they never gave a shit about batteries or hard drives or kind of like things that break. But apart from that, the software itself, lovely. And I'm sure it's still recording. Um, so I'm going to say thank you for watching. Uh oh. Don't be sick, Lottie. Thank you for watching. Have a great rest of the rest of 2017. And I look forward to treating your eyes and ears with ever more amazing things in the new year. <laughs>